Hi everyone, thank you for joining July 2023 Stampin' Class by Mail. I'm Brenda Cardinal of stampintulip.stampinup.net. I've teamed up with Gina Wieselman, a fellow demonstrator and team member of mine, to offer these monthly classes by mail. This month, it's Gina's turn to show you how to stamp and assemble your cards, and next month, it'll be my turn. Once again, here's Gina for the second of the three card designs. Make sure to check out the links in the video description for the other two videos. Have fun making this card. Thanks, Brenda. I'm Gina Wieselman of MySweetPaper.com, and I can't wait to show you how to stamp and assemble your cards using the Bright and Beautiful Suite by Stampin' Up. This suite can be found in Stampin' Up's 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. If you ordered a class by mail kit from either Brenda or me, you already have all the cardstock and embellishments cut and ready to go. Just pull out the stamp set, ink pads, and other supply items shown here. To place a Stampin' Up order and qualify for our current promotions, also make sure to use the host code that's included in the video description. Click subscribe on this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and please reach out to Brenda or me if you need any supplies or would like to learn more about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or hosting an event. Let's get started. This is the Yay You Balloons design. If you ordered a class by mail kit from either Brenda or me, all of these parts and pieces were cut to size and shipped right to your house. If you didn't order a kit and want the exact measurements, go ahead and follow the link in the video description to sign up for one of our email lists and access all of our exclusive content, such as our supply lists. We are going to start with our stamping and we'll be using the Berry Burst ink pad. And I am going to bring out my stamp and pierce mat for this, just so I get some nice ink transfer. And as we're stamping, the two things we have to stamp on this card front are the balloon strings and then the yay you greeting. And I just want to make sure that I leave enough space for the yay you. So I'm gonna set this piece on top. Of course, you could adjust um, how much of the fringe you have showing. I'm going to line it up all the way um, perfectly at the right, but you could adjust and then trim as desired. So I'll just set that there. And then I'll ink up my Yay You stamp and go ahead and do that. I think I'll be fine on the balloon string since it's not a very saturated image. Um, just doing it on my counter without the extra layer. So I'm going to start with this one, the middle largest balloon, and then I'll go that way. And I'm going to flip it around for this last one and add that. Now for the inside of this card, we sent the die cut balloon images for you as part of your kit. And I am going to go ahead and just stamp on them and add a little bit of dimension to that. So I'm going to be using this stamp, which is you know intended for the larger balloons, but I'm gonna start on this one. And then I am going to include this one as well. And I think I'll just use the two for the inside of my card. Um, if you wanted to stamp this third one, of course, feel free. And then because I'm going to place these on the inside of the card, I'm going to maybe go like that. So I'll bring back my balloon string stamp and just kind of roughly position that like so. Now, if you want on your envelope, of course, you can add some stamping. You could certainly add one of the balloons, but I think I might just do a little bit of confetti down in this corner like that just to give it a little something extra. With all of our stamping complete, we are ready to assemble. 
So we're going to be building on this bubble bath piece. And I'm going to start with my fringe. And for this, I'm just going to use my stamp and seal and I'm going to run it all the way along the side that isn't cut. And then I'm just going to line this up in the corner. And run that all the way down the side of my card. If there's any excess on the back, you can go ahead and trim. And then next we're going to add this strip. This is the More Dazzle specialty paper, and it is really fun. It has kind of the glittery look to it, but it's not actually glitter, so you won't have a huge mess around your house, which is a big bonus. Um, and I'm gonna use my multi-purpose liquid glue for that. And I'm just going to run it right along the edge of this piece with the fringe. And once again, trim any excess. And then there are three patterns of the designer series paper, and we're going to be attaching them to the back side so that they just kind of peek through. So I'm just going to kind of put some adhesive around the balloon and attach that one. The more circular balloon, I have the striped look. And for this one, just to make sure I like the way the stripes are going, I might pick it up like that. And then the smallest one has the blue stars. And if you have any overhang, you can just bring your paper snips in and give it a little trim. Okay. And as you're adhering all of those, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly positioned. Um, it doesn't have to be stuck on all sides at this point because we are now going to bring our card base back in and we will fold that get a nice crisp fold along the score line using the bone folder. And then I'm just going to kind of go wild with my adhesive on the back of this panel and make sure it crosses over all three of these pieces so that they stick in place as well. Make sure I have my inside stamping oriented correctly. Okay, next I'm going to open the card up and add the two balloons that we stamped just as a fun accent. That looks good. I'm going to bring out my bow, which I've already tied. And this came from the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack, which has two different colors of ribbon, um, and they have really great texture to them as well. So we'll be using the Lemon Lime Twist color, and the Petal Pink ribbon also comes in that same combo pack. So to adhere this bow, I will just use a mini glue dot. And I'm going to position it like that. And I think the tails look a little bit long, so I'm just going to bring my paper snips back in and trim them up. There we go. We're going to be embellishing with the pastel adhesive back sequins, and those come in three colors, kind of a blue, a pink, and a gold. And we'll be using the pink. So your kit came with three of them, and you can place them wherever you like. I might just do two toward the top and one there toward the bottom. And then the very last thing to really emphasize this fringe, I'm going to come through and just kind of fan it up. And of course, it'll probably get flattened in the envelope. Um, but 
if it's started fanning, it'll probably be easier to, um, to see that effect. It might pop back up a little bit, even after being in an envelope. And with the stamped envelope back in view, here is the Yay You Balloons design. Thank you for participating in this month's Stampin' Class by Mail. And here's Brenda with a few more things for you. Thanks, Gina. Love those cards. Make sure to check out the links in the video description for a few key things. Access to the other two videos demonstrating this month's cards. A link to sign up for one of our email lists to receive a supply list and measurements for this month's cards. Access to a special Pinterest board we curated with even more fun ways you might use this month's supplies and a sneak peek of August 2023 card designs featuring the Earth and Elegance Suite from Stampin' Up's 2023-2024 annual catalog. Thanks for participating in this month's Stampin' Class by Mail, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until next month, happy stamping!